Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday, 21 February. Stocks in the crosshairs today. Huge seller yesterday, 3,000 minis took us from uh, 88 down to 40. Spook, spook the herd. Um, this fella spooked the herd. Quick 40, almost 50 handles on 3,000 contracts. Um, that was weird, but what it tells you is the herd's a bit spooked, and this is ready to, this looks like it's ready to turn. Uh, you want to be short stocks today. The conviction point is, is below the low yesterday, which is going to be 39, or yeah, 39 and a quarter was yesterday. It's a pivot here. Um, I want to be short stocks. What that means in FX, not super clear. Uh, what's risk off anymore? What's risk on? Dollar yen's hanging in there. Obviously, um, this is not really a metric for risk off anymore. So frankly, you may want to you may want to buy the dip on this. Um, we certainly know. I think with very strong certainty, this is never going to get back below one ten fifty today. Um, but that doesn't really help us. So we're just going to leave dollar yen alone. Uh, will this create uh, dollar outflows um, if the NASDAQ and the S&P turn? Will the world um, have to repatriate their dollars into their home currencies? I don't know if they do. Euro could turn. Certainly yesterday we gave it a shot up at that sort of 15 level. 21 the high, never really got going up there. A lot of willing sellers, very bearish uh, close. We'll see. We do have PMIs today, so that could be something, but now we're kind of far away. Um, got f services and manufacturing. Uh, France, Germany and the UK and then the euro aggregate we also have retail sales and manufacturing PMI out of America anyway the main focus here um, is on these stocks want to try and get short stocks if you can gold through the fucking roof my god I don't know I don't know how I've not been involved in this yeah, snap out of it. Uh, gold, very volatile yesterday, uh, but through the roof on its way. Uh, very, very bullish. If you want to be risk off and you're thinking risk off, I guess this is your met metric. Obviously, if things go risk on and we are wrong, gold's going to snap back, but um, we'll have to see. Dollar Rand, another possible risk off metric. The budget's next week. Is this going to break 15, 16? Um, yeah, probably. So, I mean, why would you own Rand? Um, other than the people who live there who uh, seem to be a very good sort. The place is run uh, by a bunch of, bunch of uh, I wouldn't say incompetence, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't. I won't uh, go down that rabbit hole. Um, interesting up here, fifteen, seventeen, fifty. Uh, double top now. Budget next week. Um, it's almost too obvious. Uh, sell some rand. What else is out there? Kiwi yen, Aussie and Kiwi have been plunged, plummeted. Aussie's down through 66 to figure. Kiwi is also on its knees. Just from a technical chart perspective, we've been talking about this Kiwi yen. Even though dollar yen is not a risk off, 
we just took this chart and did, said, I don't know, don't even call it QEN, call it whatever you want. Um, big round number, 70 the figure. You want to sell through that, although that's another percent away. So, but this is something to keep in your back pocket if things get really hysterical, um, which they might. I mean, we're due from his. We're due for some hysteria. Let's uh, let's just call it as we see it. Poor SNB is just uh, owning a lot of euros down here. Uh, they just keep getting given and given and given and given and given. One has to wonder what's going to happen next. Uh, but now the cat's out of the bag, right? Everybody knows they're here. Not sure what to do with this. We traded it from the long side the last three or four days, but just can't really get out of its own way. 35, uh, well, 50 was the high last Friday, then 35 was the high yesterday. I don't know, but uh, they're here, and I don't, I don't think it's going to help, frankly, based on the price action so far. Uh, Euro yen, uh, not sure what to do with this. If PMIs are strong, Euro yen can go further. But if PMIs are weak, uh, you could probably sell Euro yen. The market's kind of caught, not caught long, but the market is now long Euro yen. Everyone, including us, bought it through fifty through fifty yesterday. <clears throat> so there, you know, this is the pivot. Fifty was the um, sort of the. This was a 3,000 lot that went through. Euro yen went down to 120.50. Below 120.50, um, there will be some stops in Euro yen. So I'm just pointing that out. Finally, cable. Not really sure what to do with this. It looked really shitty yesterday, right? 128.50 low a couple times. Um, you got PMI today. It's kind of a binary number. We'll have to see how it goes. Sterling yen looks pretty good. Top side doesn't really fit in with our whole sort of risk off metrics but just from a chart level um, 144.60 is important sterling yen I don't really have that much else to say today really the main focus is on ES um, like I said the herd is spooked golds at 1630 um, I don't think there's um, any reason for this to go up. Obviously, valuations are insane. Uh, leadership is, is um, I guess, e equally insane. Um, debt is insane. A lot of insanity going on here, and uh, maybe this is the correction time. I just threw it out there. Uh, we'll see. All right, listen, uh, I wish you all a good trading Friday. We got these PMIs in the morning here, CAD retail sales, and then manufacturing PMI in the afternoon for the U.S. After all that's finished, enjoy your weekend, people. I will see you on Monday. Ciao.